Hi, welcome to the Idle Tracker uh, weekly post game chat video. Uh, I'm Richard Rushfield, Idle Tracker, here with the distinguished uh, Los Angeles Times television uh, writer, Maria Elena Fernandez. How are you, Maria Elena? Hello. We're coming today from the uh, August uh, LA Times conference room, uh, which is very significant. This, uh, this room is actually used as the set for Eddie Murphy's office in Dreamgirls, uh, which of course is a great, uh, has a great idol significance as that, that led uh, to Jen Jennifer Hudson going on to winning an Academy Award. So um, welcome, Marielena. So Thank what you. Do you. So what do you think of the season so far? How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty good. Last night's uh, ratings uh, were not on par with previous weeks of the Hollywood rounds, but still very high. They had 26 million total viewers. 26 million. Not yeah. Bad. I, I thought last night's show was interesting and moved along really quickly. Um, they had so many contestants to to look at, and I thought uh, the judges were in a brutal kind of state. Now, <laughs> now you've had some strong words about Cara Di Dio Guardi, I, I, I know, from our conversations. Yeah, I'm not so sure that I'm con I'm not convinced that she was actually needed. Um, I think the dynamic of the three judges. Um, is one of the reasons a lot of people watch, and I was very curious to see if she could bring something fresh. And in the initial auditions, I didn't really see anything. But you know, out of fairness to her, a lot of it is edited, and we're not really, I'm not really sure that we know who she is. Um, I've been kind of disappointed with the way she treats Bikini Girl, even though I'm not a proponent of Bikini Girl's talents or anything. I don't think she's one of the strongest singers, but I don't. I, I think Kara going off and singing and calling her the B word and last night again, you know, being kind of mean toward you, you, her, you, I don't think that shows. Wait, how do you think a bikini nice girl should be treated? Like everybody else, really. Um, I mean, she chose to come in in a bikini and, you know, that she presents herself in a certain way, surely. Um, but it should come down to her singing, you know, and um, I no, don't. Do you, but do you agree? What, what, what I thought. What, I, what I've thought is interesting this season is that I think, I think Kara is uh, clearly a very uh, tough, shall we say, person on the inside. I've seen I've seen a lot of little flashes of uh, of, of cattiness in there. I've yeah. seen the claws come out, but generally through the season, it seems like she's perhaps overcompensating for that by by being exceptionally nice and saying a lot of "I like you." Yes, I, I really like. But Bikini Girl, I think shows us the real Kara, and I found that yeah, fascinating. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, I, I, I also think we need to wait and see when she's more Hollywood auditions and in the live performances, you'll definitely see her off the cuff remarks and get to know her better. You know, it's hard to know in the initial, in the initial rounds, but you know, it seems like Bikini Girl set off something kind of mean in her. Um, where she could have just easily said, you're a beautiful girl, you're not that great of a singer, singer see you later. Um, but don't you agree, Maria Elena, that yeah. uh, Bikini Girl has, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Kara has injected a lot of life into the judging panel that in the last few years, uh, I mean, they, they just seemed, Simon seemed like he was gonna fall asleep for, for the last couple uh, yeah. audition tours. And no, I, 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 I do see, I actually find out of the judges the most interesting person to this year, Simon. I find him in a He's different He's on his game again. Yeah, I find him in a different headspace. He seems to care. Is that because Kara's there? I have no idea. He hasn't said cruise ship once. No, he has not said cruise ship <laughs> once. He has, I think he said nightmare maybe twice. <laughs> <laughs> the, now, uh, so of the contestants we've seen so far, uh, who, who would you say are the, who are the ones that, that stick out for you? Hmm. Besides Bikini Girl. Um, this year, I have to say, I'm not, emotionally attached to many people yet um, with the exception of let me see people that have stood out in my mind are Rose the the, the, the young the hippie woman that, girl, yes, yes the young woman that lost her parents um, oh I love I love the guy what's his name the guy that lost his wife he has a Danny beautiful, of he has a beautiful voice yes. um, I like Jorge from Puerto Rico mm -hmm. um, I was disappointed because I think some of the people that stood out in the initial rounds we didn't see them perform last night. We didn't see them the, pass on. It's true. We we, yeah. we just got brief glimpses, I'd say about half the people that we that we really yeah. got to know. But then there were so many. 
Yeah. Uh, tonight's another night with the, with the group numbers. What are yeah, you looking forward to I'm in the group numbers? I'm very excited tonight? about the group numbers. I love the group numbers. Right. That's like make it or break it. <laughs> they <laughs> either like collapse or they show. What, what you do know, you think like, happens when they get to singing in the, the group dynamic like that? Well, I mean, it's hard. You know, you're in a group dynamic with people you don't know, people you're competing against. Um, you know, personalities flare, everybody's nervous, you know, it just, you, you don't know. Some people are gonna blend, some people are not, and that's what makes it really fun to watch. And uh, to wrap up, would you care to predict the winner of American Idol at this point? <laughs> One mm, week into the- What was the name of the guy who lost his wife? Danny Gokey. Danny, that's who I'm choosing. If the next American <laughs> Idol is Danny Gokey, you owe it to Maria Elena Fernandez from LA Times, and thank you for joining us. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. Thank you.